Nigeria is the world's leading grower of cassava. Let me show you something. This is cassava cake. It has gone through peeling, dewatering, and the milling processes. Now, from this multiple-use natural resource, you can get many things. Gari, fufu, starch for consumption. You can get adhesives used by the plywood industries and the packaging industries. You can get sweeteners used by the bottling companies for your soft drinks. You can get glutamate used by the uh, food processing industries for your soups. You can also get cassava flour for all forms of confectionaries. For the purpose of this story, however, we will stay with bread. The question here is, is Nigeria properly harnessing this invaluable natural resource? To encourage the production of bread from composite flour, which is an inclusion of between 10 to 30 percent high quality cassava flour and wheat, the Jonathan administration increased the levy on imported wheat by 15 percent. The attendant cost was borne by the consumers as the master bakers and users of wheat flour embarked on strike in 2013 and subsequently increased the price of bread. As at 2013, over 200 billion naira had accrued to the cassava bread fund through the Nigeria Customs and the Federal Ministry of Finance as collecting agents. Subsequently, former President Goodluck Jonathan approved 10 billion naira for disbursement to the concerned stakeholders through a value chain stakeholders committee. But the Nigeria Association of Cassava Flour Processors say the terms of reference for the disbursement of the fund under the former Minister of Agriculture, Akiwumi Adeshino, was jettisoned with about 3.85 billion naira of the fund yet to be released from 2013 till date. Under the former minister, disbursement was structured to cover a value chain from the growth of cassava to the processing of high-quality cassava flour and equipment support for master bakers. This was to capture immediate resuscitation of existing cassava processing factories through supply to the flour mills at 80,000 naira asking price, while the production cost as determined by the ministry was 103,500 naira per ton. To get the price differential or subsidy, 2.14 billion naira was set aside under the cassava bread fund to be released to the Bank of Agriculture to cassava growers in December 2013. But the fund reached the bank in January 2014. Also, 3.443 billion naira was released to the Bank of Industry for onward release to all the functional cassava flour processing factories, numbering about 35, as working capital to back up the upgraded equipment for the master bakers. All these categories of funds were supposed to be disbursed between January 2014 and September 2015 as backed up with an MOU signed by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and the Bank of Industry. While the Bank of Agriculture had disbursed all within its mandates to grow cassava, which matured within the first quarter of 2015, the tons of cassava that could have been off-taken by the processors were left to waste because the BOI did not release to the cassava flour processors the working capital to buy them to meet the new installed capacity for the production of high quality cassava flour. From the cassava grower to the processor to the master baker, none has a pleasant story to tell about the cassava bread fund. President of the Cassava Growers Association of Nigeria says his members lost tons of cassava. He reveals that the Benue State chapter of the Cassava Growers Association instituted a court action against him for misleading them. When the cassava is matured, uh, the off-takers, who are the processors, will off-take the cassava, so they cannot sell it out. More so that the uh, government has subsidized it. But uh, by the time all the cassava matured, the off-takers complained that uh, the BOI did not release funds for them to upgrade their uh, equipment to be able to use a uh, cassava flour, the cassava to, uh, to process cassava into flour. At the same time, those of them who managed to do it on their own, they could not get um, money to uh, what they call working capital. 
So now the people now, they couldn't sell their cassava. And then the cassava became almost uh, over matured. So they wrote a letter to me, to their lawyer, that I'm the one that prevented them. Because what the intervention was, was about 80,000 naira. And the cost of uh, planting a nectar of cassava is over almost 200,000 naira. So it wasn't the money of the government alone that we lost. We lost the government uh, money of the individual farmers. The cassava growers were not the only losers. TVC News visited some cassava flour processors at their moribund factories where they shared their experience. Mukiaila was smiling to the bank as a cassava flour processors and the former president, Olushe Gomba Sonjo. But he says he refused to partake of the loan for processors under Akiumi Adishino's Cassava Bread Fund initiative. We do not have law. That's why flour mills are able to shift their ground. That if we are back if there is law to it, and that will make it better. So that's why we went into we went into uh, making it a law by going to lobby. I think we used one honorable Salako who was very much uh, in support of the bill, but, but he was not able to approve it before uh, their own uh, uh, terms expires. And when the terms, I think that should be the sixth legislative arms. And so after the sixth. The seventh one came now, he was not re-elected. Okay. He was not re-elected now. So, but somebody else, we tried to use someone else. But in the course of using it, I think the power that be succeeds in killing the bill by one of the, they just proposed, it's just one sitting. They just proposed that this bill, I mean, we don't need cassava flour to be included because it's poisoning us. And it, uh, every one of them just throw the bill out, bam. And that's the end so of the day. When you say the powers that be, who do you mean? We mean our mills. Femi Adigbite is a beneficiary of the BOI funded loan. His cassava flour processing factory in Shion, Ogun State, never for one day processed cassava flour. He tells us why. With the money that was released, we were able to increase our capacity to five tons per day because a new flash dryer you know, was uh, was was financed and the capacity of that one was three tons per day. Added to our existing capacity, that would be five tons per day. The BOI that administered the loan has been harassing us. And when I say us, I mean most of our colleagues in Kazakh processing industry that are sells the loan. But we keep on telling them that look, the purpose of this loan was to increase our capacity for HQCF uh, production, which will be uptake by the flour millers. The flour millers are not doing that, and therefore we are not producing. And it's become difficult for us to service a loan for equipment, in stores specifically for HKCF, that we are not producing to start servicing the loan. Engineer Ayo Lubori is the chairman association of cassava flour processors. He is also a manufacturer of flash dryers, the equipment for the manufacture of high quality cassava flour. He has lost both ways, both as a cassava flour processor and also as a manufacturer of flash dryers. So many things not happening because the sector is adversely affected. It is only when the processors who are supposed to be the off-takers of this equipment, it is only when they are working that others will be encouraged to go into the business either to replace their machines or to add additional you know, components to their processing machines. The processors are willing to supply at 250, 300,000 naira per ton. The millers are willing to take at 180,000 naira per ton. The subsidy component of this cassava bread fund, which as I then was 450 million naira, only God knows how much has accrued to that fund now. In addition, one will have expected government to have used that money to make sure that. So many of our brothers and sisters roaming about the street now are engaged by these processors. We have over 200 of such mills across the country. And the average investment in this sector for a single SME is in the neighborhood of 20 million naira. In other words, over 4 billion investment are lying fallow now without contributing anything to the Nigerian economy. Knowing full well that 2.14 billion naira worth of cassava was at stake, why did the BOI fail to release the funds to the flour processors as at when due? 
TVC News made several efforts to get answers from Mr. Wahid Olagunju, the acting MD of the Bank of Industry, at the time. This report unveils three known moribund cassava flour processing factories. But the processors say there are many others. Now, the search for a demonstration of the cassava flour milling process brought us here to Ayede in Ekiti State. This is perhaps just one out of the more than 200 cassava flour processing plants still operating, even though at 10% of its 10-ton operational capacity. Mr. Femi Salami owns this factory. On, 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 on paper now, it's close to 10 billion, if not up to 10 billion, investments scattered all around the country. Factories that have been moribund, that have been shut down. People that have even developed stroke, people have even died in the line of, because when you have invested and all of a sudden, the, your market is gone overnight. What do you do? And like this place now, on a daily basis, we have about close to 50 to 100 people that comes to peel. The install capacity of this place, we, we use close to 40 tons. At our install capacity, 40 tons of cassava every day. But they are not coming. The flour millers who are the off-taker, who are supposed to be the main off-taker, they want to take, but the price they are offering, they are not being realistic with the price of cassava. Now, cassava range from 40 to 55,000 per, per ton across the country now. And during this rainy season, you'll be using minimum of 4.5 to 5 tons for high quality cassava flour. We're not talking of diesel, we're not talking of the peeling, we're not talking, of, we're talking a lot of things. National Secretary of the Master Bakers Association of Nigeria, Judo Kafo, believes the red tapism of the Bank of Industry is partly responsible for the failure of the policy. But what started for, uh, baffling us is that as soon as the uh, acceptance letters were signed by our members and uh, the BOI paying advance payment to the suppliers of the equipment, they started calculating interest and charges. They brought in all manner of charges. At the time the equipment was landing in the factories, charges have risen in every other place, over million, million of millions of naira. The BOI, as far as we, of the Association of Master Bakers and Caterers of Nigeria are concerned, have bungled the project. Even the uh, memorandum of understanding that was entered into between them and the Ministry of Agri have already been messed up. The, the minister overviewed the whole thing and was equally at the stage, was even asking the Bank of Industry, do you want to bank, do you want to close up their businesses? You cannot, you have not supplied the equipment, you have not provided the working capital, and you've started calculating interest. Against this background, the minister promised us at the meeting of July 22nd, 2016, that he was going to cancel all those uh, interest and charges. He requested the government that the, the main motivator of this program, which is the improver, be provided for us. At this stage, a particular improver was uh, introduced, known as Bakeshaw Improver. Without this Bakeshaw Improver, you cannot effectively process the cassava bread. In spite of the refusal of the wheat millers to patronize the cassava flour processors, the BOI has begun to write the processors, asking them to service their loans. Minister for Agriculture, Audubon, speaks on this. But they also say that uh, the flour millers are working against their interests because they have, uh, you know, wheat farms in Europe where they import flowers from. Absolutely. That ties up with the point I made earlier that foreign interests have taken your country hostage. They are very powerful. So if they, how can they patronize cassava flour when they, 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 uh, the, the, the flour millers are not willing to touch it? How can they patronize it when the big show is not available and they say their bread is, too, too, is not rising enough to put it in the market? Get the bills, get the, the, the bake sure flour in, give it to them. Once they begin to make bread and they are satisfied that the bread is of the right size and is marketable, we'll deal with the rest. And if you don't deal with them, because BOI is the one handling this money, we didn't keep it in the ministry. We'll sit down with BOI, we're even encouraging BOI to write off some of the debts. Attempts to reach the National Wheat Millers Association through the MD of Honeywell Flour Mills Nigeria PLC, Mr. Larry Jayola, 
proved abortive. After three months of relentless calls, he requested a letter stating details of the interview requested without any guarantee of immediate consent. The intention was to get the association to respond to the allegations of conspiracy that led to the death of the composite flower bill in 2008, sponsored by Honorable Olukunle Salako, and that of the ownership of wheat farms abroad from where the bulk of Nigeria's wheat for bread and pastries are imported. Since the 2013 flag-off of the Cassava Bread Fund, the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, FIRO, has been manufacturing bread from composite flour. FIRO trains manufacturers of flash dryers, processors, and master bakers of bread from composite flour as its own contribution to support the value chain. The Director General of the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Professor Gloria Elemo, says the argument about cyanide being a poisonous content of cassava is baseless as experiments carried out by the Institute has proven to the contrary. There were many speculations that, uh, of course, if there is dilution of a product that has a high GI value, that is glycemic index, that is the rate at which, or an index, that shows the way the body reacts to intake of glucose. This actually determines the utilization of such meals for the management of diabetic mellitus. Uh, the result actually showed that there was a slight drop in the GI of cassava bread. So it is not an incriminating factor. It is definitely not going to cause diabetic mellitus. It is even better for management of even the diabetic mellitus if you have a choice in the uh, cassava bread and the wheat bread for the management of diabetic mellitus and recommendations of diet, the cassava bread is even better than the wheat bread, than the 100% wheat bread. That is a 20% inclusion. And this was done with over 250 voluntary healthy individuals. So we can categorically say that cassava bread is very safe for human consumption. One of the master bakers for Lake Oyegbami debunks some of the myths and complaints about bread made from composite flour. By the time we finish, if it was 100, if it was wheat, and it was 20, you break the two dough, you will not know the difference if we do not tell you. It's the same? Yes, it's the same in appearance. Even the taste by our sensory evaluation and people that have eaten it, they prefer the cassava taste better. There's no uh, strange odor or offensive odor with the cassava flour. If you bring it now and you just, it's just okay. Professor Elemo says in terms of foreign exchange savings, a whopping sum of 127 billion naira will be saved if 20% substitution of high-quality cassava flour is made in wheat flour. Perhaps more than that figure will be saved if all the stakeholders walked the talk in the implementation of the local content policy by doing their part to tap the full potential of cassava as a natural resource. Bukola Samuel Webimo, TVC News.